Hello, welcome to Panther Live. I'm Isaac Rodriguez. I'm here with Rene. Rene, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Rene Hurtado. I'm from Mexico and I play forward for Hernan Basso. That's right. Um, he was so nice to come in and join us for our student athlete spotlight where we bring the spotlight to our student athletes who are working really hard. Uh, Rene here is a freshman for the basketball team. Uh, he averages about 9.5 point, points per game on 44% field goal percentage and 40% from the three. Um, Rene, could you tell us about where you went to high school? Well, I went to Addison High School. Uh -huh. I played four years over there. Uh, and he was very nice. I had back-to-back -back championship. Oh, league. really? Yeah, it was. Wow, nice. that's really cool. How was the the basketball program in Alisal? It was nice. We have a very good coach, very good teammates. It was a very nice program. All right, all right. And you played all four years? Well, I played my freshman year. I played with the freshman team. Uh -huh. And as sophomore, I played varsity. Oh, all right. And uh, did you play with your, your brother as well in Alisal? Yeah, Alisson? I played three years with my how, brother. How was, that? how was that playing with your, with your brother? It was very nice. We had a good chemistry. Uh -huh. Well, we have been playing together since we were four years old. Oh, wow. So, that's, that's really interesting. Um, what made you choose to come to Hartnell's program and, and be with Coach Basher and the team? Well, first of all, my brother was here. So mm -hmm. he was a freshman when he told me, hey, you should come with me and play an another, another year together. Yeah. It, was, it is going to be nice. And that's what and then ended, made the decision. You ended up uh, really loving the system yeah, and everything. Yeah. Um, what, what do you love most about basketball? Well, that you can get get know another people. Mm -hmm. like, for example, right now I know some guy from Puerto Rico, Miguel. Oh, he's yeah, a Miguel. very nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah. a very nice guy. I know Carson. Uh -huh. Carson. He's from Utah. I know Kai from Atlanta. So uh, that's, I think that's the most beautiful thing about basketball that you can get know another. You can get to know another people. Oh right, right. I, I love that too. It's it's a it's its own thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, the, there's the, definitely a di diverse uh, culture yeah. in the team, especially with Mathis. I believe he's from France. France. Yeah, yeah. He's from that, France. That's that's totally different cultures coming together to play basketball. Um, who who do you think uh, you look up to as like a basketball player that you say he kind of plays like me? Um, he's got similar game to to you. I don't know to be honest. No, it, no. do you have a, a maybe a family member that you kind of mirror your game up? Maybe your brother? Well, I can tell my dad. Be I can tell my dad because he was fast, like mm -hmm. my brother. Or like some people say that I play like him, mm -hmm. but like <laughs> the difference is that he made all his shots, and well, that he was yeah. very offense, and yeah. yeah, that's the thing. But like to me. I compared myself to Larry Beer because uh -huh. he could not run fast and he could not jump, and that's me. I cannot jump. I cannot uh -huh. jump and I cannot run fast. Uh -huh. But you definitely have a, a, a good shot. You're for the season. You you've been 40% from the three-point line. Uh, I know I play basketball maybe on my spare time with like my friends or something, and we all know that it's really hard to to shoot from beyond the arc. What do you? What, what's going through your mind when you pull up for that shot? and you're just taking it. That it is going in. Yeah? yeah just that's the my, confidence? The confidence. All right, yeah. that's great. And definitely, I'm sure you practice a lot, right? Yeah, the hits are. Of course, of course. Uh, what, are, what are some of the biggest challenges of being a student athlete and, and having to go to practice and going to all of your classes? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. No? Because it's a, it's another level. Like you, now you play against real men. Now you're studying in college. College is a, is way different than high school. Definitely, all the classes. Definitely. And also my family because in Mexico it's like all is all all about Mexico is your family uh -huh. and culture. So uh -huh. I think the most difficult part of being. Uh, a student athlete is not spending time with my father. Oh, 
the time. Mm -hmm. It just the takes time. a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. um, you were, what what uh, what was the place you were born in? Sonora. Sonora. Sonora, Sonora Mexico. Sonora, Mexico. Hey, do you know uh, where 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 it's by? Like, is it? Close to the middle, like it, Mexico, or it's at the north of Mexico. Oh. It is next to Arizona. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. Um, what what are you currently studying in school? Spanish. I'm studying Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Yeah, I want to be a Spanish teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. That's really interesting. How is it, how's that studying going? Uh, what are some things you're learning about your culture more and more? Well, it is. It's that. Uh, well, I don't know. Mm. Is it is it um, more like what what uh, what makes you passionate about it? To learn new stuff like uh -huh. syllabus, some new words, uh -huh. and you know Mexico is a big country. There's people from from other states than Sonora, so I can I can learn from other people like the language of other people like definitely definitely. Um, for right now, what's what's uh what's your thought on the team season so far? Uh, I know you guys are thirteen and twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, you we just got off the game from Gavlin. Unfortunately, you guys weren't able to pull it off. It was a tight game against a good team. But you guys played really good. Uh, what are your thoughts though on the season? Well, I think we're doing pretty good because last year they, on um, overall, I think they went nine and fifteen. Uh -huh. And now we're 13 and 12, so we progress. Uh -huh. And I don't know. I think we had good. We had a good chemistry. Uh, I think we're doing good. Maybe we can do better. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. How do you feel uh, with your progression personally from the start of the season to now? How much have you grown as a player? Well, I, I, I think I have been more, more more intelligent, more confident mm -hmm. on my shot, for example. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I, because last, last year, when I played in high school, it was only about one guy, or two guys, or three guys. Now, it's about all the teams. Like, mm -hmm. If one guy does, doesn't respond, the other guy steps up. So, mm -hmm. that, I think that's my, my progression. Like, Trust on my teammates and all that stuff. Definitely. Do you feel like uh, if the opportunity came where you could play basketball maybe professionally, you would take it? Yeah, I would take yeah? it. Yeah? Definitely. Um, if you got maybe an offer to a school or something? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. my goal, go to university or, mm -hmm. or play professional after Harnell. All right, sweet. Um, what, who are your biggest supporters? Uh, my family. Believe? Yes? My family. Could you explain why? Um, they, what are some things maybe they tell you or, or they do for you? They, they are always on my games, like every single game. That after the game, they always told me that I, in what thing I was wrong and was good. And that's a good thing to have a, a, a dad that played basketball. Like he understand all the game. Definitely. And he always told me what what I did good and what I did bad. Definitely. Um. What has your relationship been with the coaching, uh, such as like Coach Basher and Coach Terry? Um, have they given you any advice on your game or, or helped you out of school with the things that's just in life in general? Yeah, definitely. yeah, they are very good persons. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, what do you, is there a quote maybe that you live by or that you really enjoy? I, I really have one, but it's, it is in Spanish. Oh, go right ahead. It says, Eh, odié cada día de, de entrenamiento, pero yo dije a mí mismo, sufre ahora y después vivirás como un campeón. Uh -huh. It means like, I hate every, every day of practice or games, but I say like, suffer now and then you're going to live like a champ. That's really beautiful. I mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And it's a good mentality to have, especially mm -hmm. in, a, in a tough sport when you're doing all these things. Um, do you have anything else that you'd like to share or, or uh, well, add on to? Just, I'm very thankful to, to you guys. Like, I'm very thankful for for Harnell, for the community, community of Harnell, 
for my teammates, my family, my girlfriend, for everyone. All right. Well, thank you so much, Renee. That's uh, all the time we have. Uh, make sure to keep watch pa watching Panther Live as we track all the hard nosed student athletes. Uh, this was Renee Hurtado. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. And we wish you guys for the, for the rest of the season. I know you only have one more game against MPC, but make sure, you know, go get them. Get that last one. But, yeah. Thank you so much.